Mr. Beast, the YouTuber with over 90 million subscribers, has invested in this new play-to-earn game. Now the question is, should you invest in this too? Hi everyone, I'm Modern Mulan. In this video, we'll try to answer that question. I'll give you a brief background of what Metagods is, a quick sneak peek. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Fight! <laughs> of the game and of course an exciting announcement awaits us at the end of the video so make sure to watch until the end now before we start you know what to do click that like button subscribe and keep on watching all right so let's go sa kanilang pitch deck as i've mentioned the name of the game is meta gods so it's an 8-bit bullet hell nft mmo and then we'll talk more about this play to earn game as we go along the way we'll mention things that you need to know before investing in this one so yeah thrive in the biggest digital economy prepare for the most epic boss fight in the history of the metaverse so, ito yung value proposition niya, meaning ito rin yung magiging competitive edge nila sa mga ibang available sa play-to-earn games in the market. So, it's going to be a generative art NFTs in a game. Uh, first action RPG built on the blockchain, cross-chain gameplay. I know many of you are going to like this dahil may kanya-kanya kayong bias or preference sa mga networks na ginagamit for games. So, there are also going to be multiple game modes. There's going to be casual and hardcore, depending what type of player you are. Now, aside from winning the games para makakuha or maka-earn ng tokens, we can also earn those by staking or farming sa play-to-earn in casual mode. There's also NFT permadeath in hardcore mode which has higher APY, so higher rewards, and legendary loot. So legendary loot, we'll talk more about this mamaya, but this is one of the NFTs that we can get in-game. And then there's also a social element to this game fi. Now here are just some statistics or market opportunity na pinapresent nila. Pinapakita lang dito kung gano'n nakalaki yung NFT gaming industry. So um, the year when the first NFT was born or minted dung 2014, and since then we have grown exponentially nakita nyo naman diba lalo na this year or lalo na last year 2020 hanggang ngayon yung hype talaga for NFT games has been massive but I believe nagsisimula pa rin talaga tayo so yan the story you are on a path of ascension so yan meron lang din siyang storyline now na mention natin kanina na isa sa competitive edge niya is yung generative art in a game kapag naglalaro ka neto you'll first mint generative NFTs for the community yung mga NFT na to ay yung avatar ninyo, your PFP, but this will also be your in-game assets or in-game character. So each character NFT may kanya-kanyang class din. Uh, we'll go over this maya-maya. So may siyang class, may base attributes, and then you will also have equipment. So yung equipments na to, like armor, weapons, and then other rare items na again, will also be covering maya-maya. So if you've played yung mga ganitong klase ng games before, I'm sure you're familiar na, especially with the base abilities and stats. But if you haven't played or you're not that familiar, we have an example here. So for example, rolling higher strength will mean the character's attack points will be higher sa pagmimint natin. Tapos, if you have more charisma naman, the luck and chances of the enemy dropping legendary loot will be higher and so on. So ganun lang siya. Now, for the NFTs or the demigods as we call them in this game, there are four main ones for the characters. We have Achilles, Heracles, Perseus, and Memnon. I hope I pronounced all of those wrong. With each character as generative NFT, there are many rules that you can play to support your team. So, ayan nga, dahil nga meron siyang team game, so you have to choose a role. As you know, um, ayan nga kung player kayo, you're familiar with this. So, for example, you can choose to be a healer, tank, or DPS. So, ayan. The Holy Trinity of MMO still has effect here. So, so game characters are demigods and mortals for now. So they're hinting that eventually when they grow, they'll be able to get NFTs. So aside from the characters, ito, or four main roles of the characters that you can choose from, there are additional NFTs that na we mentioned na earlier. And these are the equipment, the consumables, legendary loot, and more. Ayan. Now we've mentioned legendary loot kanina, but what exactly are this? So loot NFTs, pwede mong effuse yung character mo, your character NFT through a bonding process. And then there will be four slots for the equipment. So one slot is for the weapon, one for the armor, and then yung dalawa are just general slots. So you get to choose kung anong ilalagay mo doon. 
Now, you're going to spend your experience points mo to customize or upgrade yung mga character. So, mamaya we'll be talking about yung mga tokens na to. But to give you an idea, we have two main tokens. So, one of them is Relic Token. Now, for the Relic, pwede natin gamitin yan so we can forge new weapons. Basically, to upgrade them, pati yung armor. And then, we can also use yung item crafting recipe nila to do this. Tapos, there will also be special items daw kagaya ng Resurrection Stone. So, however, this will take up one of your general equipment slots. So, as we've mentioned, may apat na slots, diba? So, dalawa uh, are taken for weapon and armor. And then, may dalawa. So, yung dalawa na yun, discarte mo nga. So, you can choose to put nga yung mga resurrection stone, etc. So, leaving you with an equipment disadvantage nga lang. So, one of their focus daw is game balancing to ensure a fun gameplay. So, you're familiar with this and I think once you've played the game a lot of times, dun kayo makakabuild talaga ng strategy ninyo that works for you. So, this is what the map looks like. Now, as we've talked about kanina, meron ding dalawang game modes na pwedeng pagpilian. So, we have casual mode Atlantis and hard core mode Zeon. Now, for the casual mode, since casual nga siya, it's autoplay. So, you can stake sa pool and then it will play for itself or it will play for you, run the game for you. So, you'll be earning XP and relic tokens passively. So, ang advantage nun is pwede mo siyang iwanan, kaya nga passive. But, yung disadvantage naman nun is yung leveling up will be much slower sa mode na yon. Now, aside from this casual, we have hardcore mode nga. Now, for this, it's risk it all. So, if you want to up upgrade your character and get yung legendary loot NFTs, you will have to play this mode and fight your way to the Citadel. So be wary though, dahan-dahan daw kasi may mga limited lives lang. So we've talked about yung permadeath nila kanina. Sabi, if you lose all of your lives, you will never be able to enter this game mode again. Your character will still be playable sa casual mode but not in the hardcore mode. So I think this is a fun way or a fun take uh, para mabalance ng economy. And I think it's really interesting kasi wala pa ako nabasa na game so far na ginagawa yung ganito. Eto, sample lang desktop preview. Ayan ganito yung maging itsura ng game. Ito yung character natin. And then, ayan yung mga makakalaban natin. Tapos, nag attack sila. And then, parang binabaril mo lang sila. Ayan. Tapos, ito lang yung slots that we talked about. Yung weapon, armor, and then yung two slots for general slots. And then, for the mobile device naman, so, kung mas prefer nyo yung mobile device nyo when you're playing, meron tayong ganung option for this. So, ito sila. Ayan. So, same lang. Ganun lang din yung itsura. And then, dito mo lang yung pang-move, details, etc. Tapos, nandito rin yung mga HP natin. And yung level kapag natapos na. As promised, I'll give you a quick sneak peek of the game. We'll be playing it ourselves. Quick disclaimer though, if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen me play, I'm I'm not the best at it. So, pagtsagaan nyo na lang. Ang mahalaga is you get to see the actual game, di ba? So, this is what it looks like. Meta God, start game. Ayan. So, wala tayo NFT. We'll just be using fake ones or yung mga samples nila dito. So, let's click start game. And then, we'll just skip this one dahil nga wala tayo NFTs. Then, I think for this one, I want to be an archer. Ayan. So, ito yung stat niya. HP 90, attack rate. Then, yung range niya. So, yun lang yung details niya. Ayan. So, ito lang yung ranking. Yeah, it's 30 seconds niya na tapos. And then, let's try the game. Okay. So, we're just going to use yung ano natin. And then, when it's here, uh, kiklik lang natin. Ayan. You understand naman kung paano gamitin na yung game. Ah! Ano kasing gagawin ko? Ayan, 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 ayan. Fight! <laughs> Ay, wala na siya. Okay. O, oh, diba? Tingnan mo, 32, 32 minutes na tayo. Kung yung kanina to, ano. Time's up. Ah, okay. So, may timer siya. Let's try it again. Let's try the hard version. Ito. What? Epic. Sige. Just because. Ah! Hmm. What if I... What if I keep shooting? Pwede ba yun? Ah, pwede siya. Hala, 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 hala. Hala, hala, hala. Go away, go away, go away. Bruh. Ay, okay. So, meron din palang makukuha along the way na, ayun, parang pang HP, ba? Hala, bullets pala to. Kailangan nating makalayo. Ilag! Ilag! Hindi siya gumagalaw. Sorry, ang ingay ko. Feel ko narinig ako ng parents ko. Ayan. Um, I think if you're a gamer, this is going to be fairly easy for you. But since I have no idea what I'm doing, go away! I'm getting better, I think. 
Kung kayo lang sinabi ko, I'm getting better. Dead. Defeat. Okay, sige. So basically, ganun yung gameplay niya. At least nagkaroon na kayo ng idea of what it looks like and how to play the game. Even though, um, hindi nga maganda yung pagkalaro ko. But anyway, uh, moving forward, let's talk about yung mga ibang things na you need to know uh, before investing in this game. So, na-mention ko na kanina na merong two coins dito sa game na to, or two tokens. We have yung relic and yung M-God. Now, let's go over kung paano ba natin makukuha yung tokens na to and ano yung pwede natin gamitin sa kanila or anong paggagamitan nila, anong utility nila dito sa game. So, let's first talk about their M-God token. etong mga M-God token, ang gagamitin natin para makabili sa marketplace ng mga adventure packs, ganyan, and then para makapasok sa raids. Now, ano bang laman ng mga adventure packs na to? So, we have yung characters, equipments, weapons, and other consumables. Now, aside from that, so yun nga gagamitin siya to enter yung mga raids, tournaments, and other special events. So, M-God, Pwede mo ring stake yan if you want passive earning. So, this is mainly yung governance token nila. And then, ayun nga, payment natin for the marketplace transactions. Now, let's talk about yung mga other special events or yung tournaments na binanggit natin. For the special events, merong mga weekly special events for this one. So, yan, may mga boss challenges with extremely high APY to incentivize yung community to band together and fight against the gods. So, yung reasoning for this high APY is because this is only available sa hardcore mode. Alam mo naman natin na sa hardcore mode, meron lang tayong mga certain lives. So, kapag naubos ngayon, hindi mo na siya magagamit doon sa game mode na yun. So, high stakes talaga dito. Kaya, marami din or mataas yung rewards dito. High risk. High reward, as we know. So, and also, they will be having tournaments and random airdrops for holidays and special occasions. So, I will also be putting sa ating description box yung kanilang social media accounts so that you can follow them and updated kayo sa mga events na to. Now, let's talk about yung Relic Token. So, ito, um, na-mention na natin kanina kung saan natin magagamit tong in-game currency na to. So, Relic Token will be mainly used for in-game purchases. So, yung mga consumables and other marketplace activities. So, yung play to earn feature nila. So, eto yung makukuha natin kapag nanalo tayo against yung mga boss fights, ganyan. Sabi rin dito na special in-game merchant mechanics will help stabilize the price. So, example daw, ang isang long sword will always be worth 100 relic tokens. So, yan. This provides initial liquidity for players as well as overall economic stability. So, ibig sabihin kung halimbawa, mauna kayo na makabili or makakuha ng relic tokens or una na maglaro nito in general. As you know, kapag na una, diba? May mga certain advantages. So, ang isa dyan is, syempre, kung mura pa yung value ng relic token, yung 100 relic kapalit na isang long sword ay hindi pa ganun kabigat. Pero kapag tumaas na yung value ng relic, syempre, uh, magiging mabigat na rin yung 100 na babayaran mo for that sword. Now, kapag tumaas na yung presyo at naging mabigat na nga 100 relic tokens, you can go naman sa marketplace and see kung meron nagbenta ng mas mura na ganun. Ayan, secondary market can be sold for either more or less. So, yan. Depende, swertihan, ba? Ako, kapag naglalaro ako ng mga ganitong klase ng games, lagi ako nakabantay sa marketplace kasi merong mga nagkakamali ng lista ng price minsan. Halimbawa, 100 nila gustong ibenta, tapos 10 lang yun nalagay. I mean, sad for them, pero ba still, for you kung biglang makakatch mo yun or makukuha mo agad. So, yan. Tapos, usually, kapag ROI na yung mga players, merong mga nagabenta lang din ng mura na NFT sila, yung mga gusto na mag-take profit. So, yun. Kung mga naglalaro kayo ng games, bantayan nyo lagi yung uh, marketplace dahil may mga gems, may mga hidden gems na makikita kayo doon, for sure. Or, the exact opposite, kung kayo yung mga una, kung ayaw nyo magbigay or ibenta yun ng mas mura, you can flip the NFTs so, bili kayo ng mga long sword and then kapag mataas na yung value na, you can sell them for much higher. Tapos, take note that loot dropped on the ground are considered artifacts na. If you remember, isa rin sa valued proposition nila kanina is that it's going to be a social game, social game fi. So, sabi nila, they believe games are meant to be played with friends. I think, mas masaya nga kapag merong kakakwentuhan. Um, like, Mirror 4, ba napakarami mga Discord group na pinag-uusapan nila, like, naka-on-call sila habang nangibag so I think that's really exciting and it adds to the game. Sana 
na meron na siyang sarili niyang ano, parang pwede na kayong mag-communicate within the game itself na hindi niyo na kailangan ng outside or a different application, di ba? So we'll have to wait and see kung gagawin nila yan. Ito nakalagay dito, for example, before entering a realm, it is best to have a mix of character classes. As you know, di ba, sa ML nakikita din natin yan, iba-iba yung classes. Best suited for the mission. So with the Holy Trinity daw ng MMO, you have a better chance to win against the Pantheon to earn those Sweet, sweet APY rewards. As we've seen then kanina sa ating uh, beta game, meron tayong rankings and leaderboard. So ganyan lang sila, all time, weekly, tapos yung points nila, and then yung time to beat or yung time record nila. Now let's go over yung isa sa mga importanting elements na dapat tinitignan kapag nag-aaral tayo ng isang game, which is yung tokenomics nila. So yan lang yung first month market cap and their other information. But what I want to take a look at is yung public-private sales nila and yung team tokens especially. So for this one, ayan lang yung information. Uh, I'm sure familiar na kayo sa ganito na kapag private sale, mga seed sales, ganyan, pag early investor ka, usually uh, meron kang mga lower prices. So ito sila, 10% TGE, so that's good, hindi masyadong madadump. 12 months na lock up. And then, 12 months daily vest. Ngayon, silipin natin yung ibang breakdown nila. So, for their team tokens, 13% ng total token supply is allocated for them. So, that's good. It's a fair number. 24 months cliff. So, 2 years bago nila makuha lahat. Plus, 12 months daily vest. This is good so far. It's looking good kasi ito yung mga usual na nakikita natin sa mga mas nagtatagal na games, ba? If you compare sa mga other play to earn games na parang one month lang yung tinagal or just a few weeks and then parang nag-slow rug, nawalan ng interest yung mga investors. Kapag sinilip mo yung tokenomics nila, usually yung team parang six months lang yung vesting, ganun, or six months lang nakalock, three months lang nakalock yung token. So I think this is very important na tinitignan din natin. So they also have the same percentage allotted for market Thing. This is also good para alam natin na they're always attracting new players. Liquidity, mataas din naman. So, 10%. I wish it was a, a bit higher para hindi tayo nagkakaproblema na nagka-swap ng tokens if you want to convert them. Pero yan, 15% TGE, 36 months daily vest. Advisors, 12%, or sorry, 12 months cliff, 12 months daily vest, etc. So, you can take a screenshot of this kung gusto nyo mag-muni-muni, gusto nyo pag-aralan talaga. Um, or you could go ahead and check out their pitch deck na nakalink sa ating description box. Now, let's go over their roadmap. Ano ba yung pwede nating ma-expect sa Meta Gods? So, eto sila. We're now here sa first quarter of 2021. Engine preview access, land dungeon boss ownership, Nexus development and release, NFT mission staking, and relic integration. So, second quarter naman, I think sa mga second and third quarter, usually ma exciting na ano eh, na mga nagsisilabasan. So, ito, gisart na yung in-game marketplace, weekly tournaments and campaigns. So, dito na tayo mag-start na malaki-laki na or may mga marami ng potential earning pathways. So, yan, adventure NFT packs, VIP Discord groups, and then we can also expect um, Wrath of Ares, land builds and guilds, tapos character breeding as well, sacrifice pool open. So, I'm assuming na dito sa sacrifice pools, pwede mo sacrifice yung mga old NFTs more old characters para magkaroon ka ng stronger na NFT. So, yan. There will also be extension packs. Tapos, yung cross-chain na na-mention natin kanina sa so fourth quarter of 2022 na yan. And then, magkakaroon ng clan wars, raids open, new world journey exploration, and Season 2 trailer release. So, ayan yung mga pwede nating i-expect sa kanila. Now, for their team members, eto naman sila. So, what I'm expecting is, hopefully, um, eventually, mag docs na sila. Siguro, I'm waiting for an AMA then before I go and really invest in this one. Gusto ko muna kasi docs talaga yung team. Although, ayun nga, as we've mentioned sa introduction, malalaki or malalakas yung mga backers and partners nila. So, that alone, di ba, may build of trust na. But personally, dahil nga especially ganito yung market sentiment medyo nagiging mas maingat tayo so naghihintay muna ako na alam mo yon yung may tao iba pa rin kasi pag may tao yung na nakikita natin so another ano naman yon for trust diba so, ako yun lang yung personal metric ko let me know in the comment section kung ganun din kayo kung mas gusto nyo na dox yung mga team members and it also helps kasi pag alam natin kung sino sila so, nakakagawa rin tayo ng background check kung capable ba sila na to pa rin or i-improve yung game or i-complete lahat ng nasa roadmap nila, ba So, again, let me know in the comment section kung ganun din kayo 
Or kung kayo naman yung tipo na no, it doesn't matter kung kilala nyo o hindi yung team as long as maganda yung project or yung mismong games. I'm really interested to know kung ano yung thoughts nyo about this. Ilagay nyo yan sa baba, ilapag nyo yan, and then we'll talk about it sa comment section. Now, eto rin yung sa team community nila. Ito yung in charge for community manager, ito yung marketing, eto naman for social media. So, I won't be really reading these kasi nga hindi naman natin nakikita yung background nila. But if you do want to read them, again, pitch deck, description box. Now for their investors. Honestly, what attracted me to this game is yung investor nga nila na si Mr. Beast kasi grabe yung social media reach niya. Fundamentally, bullish siya if you really look at it kasi nga over 90 million subscribers si Mr. Beast alone. So they also have other great uh, investors here, especially IST Labs, Dow Maker, yan mga bigatin talaga yan, 'di ba? Game5, Magnus Capital, ABV, yan yung mga projects talaga ng mga yan. So far ang ganda and mataas talaga yung win rate nila or in terms of yung mga lumilipad talaga. Because if we talk about yung concept alone, meron na tayong mga 8-bit games na cover before, di ba? So, I think, malaking factor din nga talaga na bigatin yung mga investors sila, yung mga naniniwala sa kanila. I did my research on this one, kung totoo, na partner nila si Mr. Beast, because so far, from what I know, wala pang pino si Mr. Beast about them. But, I checked his official Twitter account, si Mr. Beast, tapos I saw na fina-follow niya yung socials ng Metagods. So, I think that that's a good sign. So we'll have to wait and see tignan natin kung meron siyang crazy video na gagawin regarding this one and then may integration of Metagods. So, kaya right now, we just have to wait and see. So again, lahat po ng kanilang mga social media accounts are linked sa ating description box. Mine as well, if you want to follow me, you can also drop your comments or your video suggestions sa ating comment section. I do my best to try to reply to all of you. Ayan, and then i-add natin sa list yung mga i-recommend yun na videos. As promised, meron silang exciting announcement. So punta tayo sa kanilang Twitter, which is at PlayMetagods. So meron silang super event. Ayan, so earn passive income and then tradable NFTs, guild building. Sabi na, are you ready? Ayan. There is going to be a land sale coming soon. This just means that they are planning on creating a metaverse for this one as well. So if you want to learn more about this and you don't want to miss yung kanilang land sale, make sure to follow them on their social media accounts. Again, nakalink po lahat sa ating description box. And if you want to follow me too, then nakalink din po yan sa baba. You can also check out our pinned comment for that. Now, if after watching this video, you don't feel na ito yung game for you, don't worry dahil napakarami nating videos about other play-to-earn games. And I think these two na napili natin na nandito sa screen nyo ngayon, you'd really enjoy these and you'll find a lot of value in them. Now, if you want to keep learning about crypto, about trade, Trading, about play to earn games and other crypto related projects make sure to watch our other videos so subscribe na kayo and then pili kayo sa napakaraming videos na ginawa natin for you now if you're overwhelmed and you don't know where to start i have chosen two videos that i think you'll love eto sila pili lang mga suke and then let me know in that comment section kung galing kayo sa video na to Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed this one. Sana makausap ko kayo sa comment section. And I hope to see you on our next videos. Bye!